Debbie Taylor, uh, no uh, umbrella tonight there in South Florida. Looks like a nice night. The hair blowing in the breeze down there, Debbie. And a uh, chance for you. I had a chance to visit with Willie Harris about the, uh, what's been going on recently. Guy comes off the bench, and when he does, he's either a home runner or drives a run and really gets the job done, doesn't he? You're right, Johnny, and I'll tell you what, he will be the first to admit that this season has not gone as he would like, but he has, as you mentioned, been able to make some key contributions, and that pinch hit home run and double over the weekend against the Cardinals are two great examples. It's a great feeling, uh, especially with the type of year that I've been having this year, uh, being able to come in and pinch hit and, you know, hit a big home run against the Cardinals and pinch it with the bases low to get a couple RBIs there. It's, it's a great feeling for me. I wish I could contribute a lot more. You know, it's just been one of those years, but it, it feels great. I mean, I'm having a not so good a year as I would like, but it's been a learning process for me, and it's, it's also been a good thing for me. I've been able to relate to some other players when they're going through their struggles, and, and you know, it's been a good year all around. How have you stayed mentally tough? It's just knowing that, you know, it's a tough game. It's, it's a game of failure. Uh, going out there, I give I give my best effort every day, and that's that's all I can do. Uh, if I'm pleased with myself and with the effort that I'm giving, it's, I, I mean, if we can control where the ball is going, all of us will hit 400. But unfortunately, that's not how the game goes. I know you, Willie, and I know at the end of the day, the most important thing are the wins. And just the way this team has been playing lately, I mean, that's got to put a smile on your face as well as your teammates. I mean, the way we played against the Cardinals, uh, potentially playoff team, took three out of four from them. And, and ever since then, it just seems like everything's just a little different. Everything's a lot more at ease. Uh, guys are playing a little bit more freely, not so much on their toes, like on their heels, uh, not really worried about much. And... You know, we have a good team here, and, and if we can continue to play good baseball, I think I think we'll be good to go down the stretch. And finally, Willie, you've won three in a row. This is your chance to win four in a row, which you haven't done yet this season. And just how big would it be to get on a little bit of a roll and finish really strong? It'll be huge for us. Uh, we haven't had that role all year. Uh, it's going to be tough tonight facing Anibal Sanchez. Uh, but if we can go up there and, and good put together some good professional at-bats, I think we can get to him. Uh, Jordan Zimmerman is going for us tonight, and, and it's important for, for him to keep us in the game, and, and I think we'll be fine. Steve McCaddy telling me today that Jordan Zimmerman will probably pitch about five or six innings. Some other news to pass along. Mike Rizzo said that Steven Strasburg will undergo Tommy John surgery on Friday in California. Dr. Wimi Duoji will join Dr. Lewis Yoakum in performing the surgery. Now, once that is done, he will return to San Diego, and he will begin his physical therapy and his rehab. After he gets to the point where he can throw, he will head to Vieira, Florida, and continue the rehab there. So that is the latest on Steven Strasburg. Friday he will have Tommy John surgery. Johnny, Phil, back to you.